Hey guys, what's up? This is Scott Firth from Tread Athletics. We see some common flaws mechanically with the front leg. So today we're gonna try to cover a couple of those and talk about some possible solutions uh, in terms of drills or exercises to correct those. The first kind of common issue that we see is uh, in the frontal plane. So guys who tend to kind of leak through their front knee, uh, collapsing towards home plate. Other guys tend to struggle more in the transverse plane, more rotationally with the front knee. So that tends to be uh, kind of look like the, the front knee bowing out or uh, kind of rolling over you know, as you finish. And then the third common issue is landing from above or, or really not landing from above. Uh, some guys tend to kind of slide in or hit you know, a, a piece of their foot instead of being able to plant and stabilize over their entire foot. Those are some of the most common issues that we see. And now we're gonna talk about some drills and exercises to try to correct those issues. So the first exercise in the frontal plane progression is just gonna be what we call a little banded front knee stabilization. So this is a really easy one to do to set up. Uh, I'm just gonna use a set of J-bands here and a screen. You know, you could use a chain link fence, anything that you can anchor the bands to. Uh, most people have a set of bands available to them. Uh, I like the J-bands because it, it kind of helps to have the strap that you can kind of fasten uh, the band around your knee in the right way here. When we're talking about this exercise and how it applies to the frontal plane, a lot of people have issues when they throw where when they land, their front knee kind of tends to leak forward, right, from foot strike into release. What that's doing is, you know, kind of minimizing the, the breaking effect that would allow the ball to kind of be ejected forward with velocity. If this doesn't slam on the brakes, this can't really, you know, kind of have the counter effect, whip effect that we're really looking for. So it's really important that we're able to stabilize here, especially from this kind of time of front foot strike into ball release. We're looking for this knee to go from, you know, a certain kind of joint angle of flexion here into some extension. I think a common issue that I see is people trying to force their knee into extension, which that's not necessarily what we want either. We just need it to stabilize and extend a little bit. It doesn't necessarily have to get all the way straight or hyperextended. So when I'm setting this up here, I've got two kind of versions, right? For both versions, what I'm gonna do is unstrap the J-bands here and I'm gonna wrap it around my knee and then kind of tie the, you know, the Velcro pieces back together here. So I've kind of got like a little slip knot with the J-bands here. For this particular drill, right, and working on the frontal plane, we can have the band either anchored in front, where this is gonna be kind of feeding the flaw. This is gonna be pulling me forward where I actually need to resist the band. So I can just do this as part of kind of dry work, you know, any version you like. I tend to like a rocker or, you know, just kind of getting a little bit of rhythm going where I can feel my knee pulling back against the band as I finish, All right? So I'm trying to get back to my loaded position and I'm really working to pull the band away from me, or excuse me, away from the anchor point as I get into release here. Right, and just working on that timing. And then the other version would just be to flip around and have the anchor kind of pulling your knee back, right? So I've got this just below my kneecap here and I can tell the band is pulling towards the anchor point and kind of helping me straighten my leg. So you can kind of do this really in either order if you wanna you know, challenge yourself right off the bat maybe you go with the front anchor. If you wanna kind of get the feel first, maybe you go with this kind of behind anchor. Oh, okay, that's kind of doing it for me. Right, so you can kind of experiment with both versions of that. 
either front anchored or behind anchored, depending on, you know, do you really wanna kind of give yourself the basic version and build up from there? Or do you wanna challenge yourself and test yourself and see if you can actually execute and kind of execute the right move there? The second exercise in the frontal plane uh, progression here, this is just gonna be kind of a traditional rocker, med ball, shot put throw. Uh, but sometimes, uh, or some guys, might benefit from the addition of kind of a, an extra piece of equipment. Uh, I'm gonna use this hurdle here. Uh, but sometimes, you know, depending on what you have available, you may have to get creative. And so I've definitely seen guys use, you know, buckets and a broomstick or, you know, other contraptions to kind of fashion themselves a hurdle anyways. When we're doing this rocker drill, we wanna be in kind of a split stance and be able to feel our weight shift back and forth as we rotate, right? So you'll see that I'm not just sliding back and forth, right, without moving my hips or my belt buckle. As I'm shifting my weight forward, my belt buckle is turning open. As I'm shifting back, my belt buckle is turning closed. When I'm going to throw this, I'm gonna try to turn and deliver the ball and really stick the finish here with my front leg. The addition of a hurdle or some other kind of, uh, you know, homemade instrument can just give you that instant feedback of, you know, how soon does my knee actually brace and accept that force? Is there a moment where it leaks through and then braces or is it uh, responding to the ground quickly? So the idea here, if you're gonna use a hurdle, would be to get something just above knee height, and you really wanna get yourself underneath it as much as possible. So if you're too far away, it's not really gonna give you the feedback that you need, right? If I'm right up here under it, any sort of collapse through my front knee is gonna have an effect on the hurdle here. That's the shot put uh, rocker med ball throw. So for the first drill in the transverse plane progression, we're gonna use a similar banded technique that we used for the frontal plane. Now, instead of having the band anchored behind or in front, we're actually gonna have the band anchored to the side. So for me as a right-handed thrower, my left knee you know, or my left leg would be my plant leg. I want the band to be pulling from the outside. Right, so like if I was on a field right now, I'm throwing to the catcher, right? I want the band to be anchored over by first base, right? So the band is gonna be pulling my knee out and I'm gonna have to work to stabilize in as I sit in this uh, you know, split stance iso hold here. So again, I've got my band set up here kind of in a little slip knot just below my knee. Right, the tension is gonna be kind of pulling my knee out here and I really just have to work to kind of turn my knee in and stabilize, right? And I can use this as just a split stance iso hold for time here to kind of improve this. So, you know, we might wanna start with 20 seconds per set and then we can gradually build up from there as you get stronger and stronger. The second exercise in the transverse plane progression is gonna be an exercise that we call diagonal plate switches. So I'm gonna get into my split stance here, right? I'm gonna be mainly working, you know, my, uh, my throwing lead leg here in the front. You know, you could do the opposite side here if you want, just kind of for balance or, you know, for a holistic kind of approach there. But if you're crunched for time, I would really focus on having your throwing side, you know, normal landing foot forward here. You're gonna start with the weight pressed away from you towards your uh, front foot. So on the outside of my left foot here, the plate's pressed away from me here. And all I'm gonna do is try to rip the plate up and down as fast as I can, 
keeping my arms kind of out wide pressed, right? So I'm gonna go, right? That's one rep there. And I'm really trying to minimize, you know, the movement or shifting in my knee. I'm really trying to stabilize here and be as solid as I possibly can and be connected to the ground. That's uh, diagonal plate switches. Again, working on knee stabilization in the transverse plane. This is gonna be the last exercise for the transverse plane progression. For this exercise, we're gonna do a drop step med ball shot put throw. The idea here being that we're adding kind of a rotational element where now the front leg not only has to accept force going backward and forward in the frontal plane, but also rotationally in the transverse plane. So I'm really gonna make an effort to stick my finish, not let my knee roll out, get to the outside of my foot. I'm gonna really kind of focus on keeping my knee in as I finish and plant here. Lastly, we're gonna talk about you know, landing from above and guys who have issues with that, you know, sliding in or landing awkwardly on their foot, we're gonna talk about a drill here to try to correct that. So for this drill, we're gonna do kind of a, uh, another kind of rocker technique with a little bit more of a leg lift and we're also gonna go cross body throw with this here. So I'm gonna get that similar rocker figure eight type momentum going where I'm working to shift my weight forward, rotate and shift my weight back, right? And then when I get to the back, I'm gonna give my front foot a little hover, like I was going into my delivery here, and I'm gonna get the ball up, you know, kind of across my body here, and finish out in front of the target. I like to, again, use a, you know, a little tool here, a small hurdle, or again, you can be creative, you know, if you don't have access to something like this. Just anything small, you know, couple inches off the ground where you can give yourself that instant feedback of my foot actually getting up and over and planting down as opposed to kind of sliding and knocking the hurdle out of place. So that right there would be uh, a drill to work on landing from above, being able to get your foot up and over and plant down crisply on the ground. Uh, that drill right there is kind of a figure eight rocker, cross body med ball throw. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you guys have any questions or anything, please leave them down in the comments below. And if you like our videos, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll check you guys next time.